up, fam? What you saying? I hope everyone had a great day. Happy premiere night. It is BB Can 10 premiere night. What an episode. If you guys haven't watched it, there will be some spoilers. j Panda, Sarah, Kira, Alpha Cat. What is up, you beauties? You came straight to stream. Yes, sir. Dude, uh, what a great, you, dude, man, what a house, man. What a house, Coops. What is up, Johnny Chops? What you saying? What are your thoughts, man? Pyro Jen, what is going on, Coops? Pumped, let's go. Yo, I appreciate that, man. Dude, there's lots to talk about. Good evening, Borgie. What's going on, Pyro Jen? Liquid Music, what's going on? Uh, Ali, what's going on, fam? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Alpha Cat, all the house guys are sexy. Yeah. Uh, so fun. So, so surreal. Dude, I can't even imagine, man, what it's like to see Jess on there, man. Uh, dude, she was close. I thought she wasn't going to go for the first HOH. She was close, man. She was throwing those bean bags and shit, tossing them. You know what I mean? Uh, can we talk uh, spoilers in here? Well, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually break down the entire episode right now. So if you guys haven't watched it, if you don't want spoilers, you might want to look away for a few minutes because we are going to chat. So uh, first things first, I want to break everything down. I want Actually, first things first, I want to start Stream Raiders. We're going to fire up Stream Raiders first things first. Marsha, what's going on? Butter Barraza, what's going on, baby? Yeah, man. We are going to talk. I want to break down the entire episode. You got news yesterday. My flag is... Yeah, let's go, baby. Congratulations, man. It's always fun when you get the flag, man. That's awesome, dude. Uh, congratulations. That's really good news, big dog. That's really good news, man. Uh, she was giving the guys run for their money. Yeah, she was. Tell us your thoughts. Yeah, beauty. Go, Jess. Go. Who won the vid cutout once they picked the doors? Ah, shit. Uh, okay, I'll break it down. Let me get to it. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to do like a little mini podcast about it. I will put it up on YouTube after as well. First things first, Stream Raiders is up. Uh, I'm going to break down the entire episode. I'm going to thank you, Ali. I appreciate that. I'm going to break down my thoughts. I'm going to break down the episode. I'm going to break down everything uh, from my point of view and what I think. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to start from the very, 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 very beginning. Uh, first, I got to say, first of all, I want to say what's up, everybody. That's the first things first. Uh, I want to say, man, was, it's crazy. The First of all, the stage was absolutely incredible. The house looks absolutely incredible. The house guest, uh, they all looked absolutely incredible. Uh, I got to say, man, uh, you know, no disrespect to my girl, Steph. To me, her dress looked like a loofah. <laughs> she looked like a loofah. You know what I mean? One of those things in the shower you clean yourself with. You know what I mean? She looked like a loofah to me. What's going on, man? What an episode, dude. Yo, look at this fucking beauty. What's going on? Man? Yo, sick episode, man. Tell me. Yo, I want to talk with you. I want to talk with you. Tell me what. Uh, tell me your thoughts about it all. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, there's a lot to take in, man. There was a, That was a jam-packed episode, and they're not really giving us fucking much, man. I like what you were saying earlier um, about Kevin. How he can just act like Peter Brown in the DR. I got, I got those vibes, too. Hundred. Um, I thought Jess was hella aggressive and needs to just calm down. Hundred percent. And just like she's got to pump tires, she's got to adapt somehow. She's got to pivot, man. She's really got to pivot 100%. because you can't keep that attitude with somebody who's in power. That's hundred. Like, yes. Uh, it's, stre it's stressing me out. But when yep. she won the fucking veto, bro, <laughs> I jumped up and I was pounding my chest like I was back on season nine, and I just screamed, <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> This is why I love you, man. I love it. Dude, I'm, t I, I'm saying literally the exact same thing. I think Jess has got to just chill a bit, you know, like especially with when her mom and they were talking, and Jess is like, you know, being like it's it, it's like very just got to yeah, like you say, pump the tires, like just let them feel comfortable, build them up, make them feel good, and and yo, we're good, you know. Uh, but J but Jess was very like, why did you put me on the block? Like, very aggressive. You you got to especially week one, you got to chill. You got to chill. You know, and, and let, you know I love her, man. That's not, you know, I love Jess. That's my, you know. Yep. But uh, I, I'm keeping it honest. I'm just keeping it honest. And I think uh, I think Jess needs to just chill a little bit, um, or else, yeah, or else, uh, you know, they'll be in trouble again. But yeah, when, when Jess won the veto, I was like, yo, because that's another thing too, right? And I was talking about this a little bit earlier too. That's luck, like not luck, not luck that she won that that they won, but it's luck that that competition came up. What if it was a different competition where it's like, you know, hold on to a rope or whatever, or you know, because Jess said, you know, they're not very very athletic. So just fell in that it was a very lucky that that competition worked for Jess's strengths. So it was good that it was there and, and that they got to save themselves. So 
uh but yeah dude what an episode man what an episode i was just sweating man i was like no but i'll tell you i was talking to who was i talking to i was talking to someone earlier and, and, and you know how they did that leak on twitter where it's like they showed that like fight i call it a fight with uh did you, I don't know if you well the, the, the thing with food with uh and i was like yo that that is a uh first first i saw it and then after i was talking to someone i was like yo man that's uh uh they call it like uh uh, what do they basically they're they're making you think one thing but the, the once you know but there's no way jess was going to go home you know what i mean they leaked that to kind of make you mm -hmm. think that that jess is going to go home but then obviously yeah uh, they weren't. and the thing is is that talk bringing it back to the talk with jess and and uh hermsies uh like we don't know if they showed us that conversation even in chronological order exactly um, yes could have been chopped together to make jess look bad like it could have you know, yeah. um, he could have said some some condescending things to trigger her or send her off on that tangent, um, which most likely happened if we're being honest. Yep. Um, Cause you could so, tell, you could tell with Jess's body language already sitting down, seemed a little bit like uh, agitated or, or wasn't feeling it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the other, and the other part too was uh, when you're at that table, there was none of Jess's friends. It was all Moose's friends around. So that already puts Jess in a really bad spot because no matter what Jess says, it's not going to be right. You know what I mean? When e you know, everybody else hears what they want to hear and they can, they have their own side of the story to it. And obviously if they're friends with Moose, they're going to kind of sway the, the, the storyline to Moose's favor kind of thing. Uh, dude, it's uh, man. I, I'm, I love, I love that you're amped for this season, man. I'm amped too. Like I'm amped too. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm juiced. I'm full podcast. That's what I'm doing. I'm in my little podcast lair. Right I love it. So check it out. Got my yeah, board look going at my you. Look at you, baby. Yeah, you wilding out. I'm just like, I'm taking notes during the episode. Like it's, I, I've been a fan, Bruno. You have no idea. I've dude, I love it. Of the show for so long. Was that I've porn on your, was that like this? Was that porn on your computer? It's actually our guest bedroom down in the dungeon. <laughs> On your computer, was it porn? No, it's <laughs> porn joking. on the computer, man. Are you kidding me? It's all on my cell phone. I know, dude. I'm in the same boat, man. I, I, I believe you. Know? Trust me, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you, man. Mine's on the phone, too. I mean, come on. You got to be safe now, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I do, I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't been, I'll tell you, man, I haven't been this excited uh, for a while. It's just, you know, fuck. Yeah. So, it's our season, man. come on. So tell me, tell me, tell me, man. From what you saw in these two, okay, what are your thoughts on Kevin? I want to hear your thoughts on Kev. Yeah, Kev to me seems like all talk and no walk. Yeah, Hunter. sure he went and like turned on Melina, blah blah blah. But what you, if if he's trying to play the middle of the house? There's going to come a point, and it could come very early, where the two sides of the house talk and realize that Kevin's the toxic issue, 100%. and he needs to go. That game just is not proven to work. The game that he's trying to play. I mean, it's fun on paper, but if you want to win $100,000, there has to be a level of humility, and it's not just all about gameplay. So I'm hoping that he can show some humility in his gameplay and be honest instead uh, of what we perceive as somewhat delusional as former players. And, see, and, and that's the thing is, and, and kind of rolling their eyes. Sometimes I, mean? I feel like I'm crazy because like I know what's going on in the house, right? But you know, it's yeah. like when you know you're and you're right trying to a different lens. Like I notice things that yeah. I would have never noticed as if, if I didn't step into that house. One hundred fucking percent. That's what I try to tell people. Oh. But I feel like the crazy one because I'm the one that experienced it. <laughs> And they're like, no. And it's like, fuck, man. It's like right in front of your eyes. Like, I know I've fucking been there. I know what's going on. And they're like, nah, I don't I'm see it. I'm not crazy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, now I see it. But yeah. it, to me, it's still enjoyable. Like, I'm getting, I got up out of my seat and pounded my chest. I'm a full grown man. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm watching reality TV. <laughs> Wait till you kick no. your TV through the wall, buddy. Wait till you, no, no, no. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to get pissed that your favorite's going to go over here and pick up your TV and just fucking smash it. I mean, I haven't done That's that yet, something. but yeah, we'll I never thought about that because they're obviously they're all still, I like, I really feel for Melina though, man. Like, ah, oh, same, you know, but, it, I guess it's every first boot. You got to feel, yeah. feel bad for her. I don't think you really didn't get a fair shake. I don't think Melina's a fan of the show. I don't think no. Melina's a fan of the show. She she didn't seem like she cared to be there. Even in her like bio and stuff, it was like, you know, I don't uh, I don't like people. You I don't like talk people. to people. Yeah, I don't like doing this. I don't like it was just then why are you like what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, why are you even first of all, why are they casting her? Second of all, what are you doing there? You know what I mean? Like, if you're just gonna go in there, sit in the bed for uh, seven days and get voted out, like what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? Like it was just the thing, it's like there's sixteen people in that house and she's in a room by herself. It's hard to do that. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alone. Yes. In the big brother house. Even when there's like four people, yep. it's hard to be alone. People will just come look for you and then want to hang out with you. Like, it's that's true. just how it is. And um, especially, I remember, I remember the, the first week is the, is the, is the roughest because there's literally 16 people in the house. You, you can't even get, no matter where you, cause the house is, I don't, I think people think the house is way bigger than it is. The house is small mm -hmm. and, and no matter where you go, there's somebody there. There's one person, two people, three, like there's just nowhere to hide. Like, even if you just need your there's space, nowhere to hide. there's nowhere to hide, man. And if you don't like to be around people, especially like it, and one thing I always explain is that this is this is out of people's comfort zone. You're going in this house on a TV show. You have cameras in your face. It's an unknown environment. You don't have the comfort of your own home. You don't have you know anything that makes you feel you know your phone or your a book. You have nothing. So there's nothing there to keep you occupied or or, or even distracted from what's going on. And you have all these people that are that literally have the same plan as you is to win this show, and they're lying to you and they're making friendships. And you're seeing people make these friendships, and you're like, shit, I need more friendships, but maybe nobody wants to talk to you, or you know what I mean? There's there's so many factors that that people do not understand uh, that are huge factors. Uh, what's going on? And it's it's a very shitty. Like, did you have someone on your season that that could not like, especially week one, they just couldn't connect with anybody, and they were felt alone, and they were just like, but Josh was Josh like that? josh was like that but he was a saunderer like i would literally just hung up a call with josh and now i'm talking to you mm -hmm. and we just talked about this so yeah he definitely felt it but he's like he he wanted to play the game he definitely wanted to play he fought hard mm -hmm. which is something i don't think we've seen from like molina who, who we're comparing to so right not to that extent and what we'll you know truly ever really know like i don't know if we'll ever get to know what went down fully right you know people are just going to forget and it's going to be construed and the live feeds uh weren't on so right. well that's the thing by the time knows. by the time the season's over and then they're talking about week one that was fucking 10 weeks ago and it's like i say week one is kind of like a blur so kinda. much happened yeah i think back to my season and like i was on the block against josh in week two and fucking everyone's doing this rap down in the kitchen and I'm like, oh, God damn it. Like, <laughs> me, if I wasn't on the block, zero fucking percent chance I'm in that rap. And right. Rapping. But nope, I went down, I sat in, I got involved, I'm slapping my hand on the table, I'm laughing at everybody's bad jokes. Like, <laughs> yes! Know what I mean? Like, yes. I fucking got involved. I talked to everybody, I was like, yes. I'm not going down like this. And then... This is yeah, what I try I to explain, man. It's like, this is what I try to explain to to uh, to the chat. It's like, Dude, you're having these conversations with people you don't want to have. You're laughing at these shitty ass jokes you don't want to hear. They're telling you about their fucking aunt's second cousin's cat litter that you don't give a fuck about. But, you know, you got to listen to it and you got to pretend like you give a shit. And this yeah. is the hard part of the game that people think is so easy, you know? And it's like, well, fuck. And then it's like, uh, you know, and it's to me, that's the hardest part. Uh, knowing who is working that's with who and stuff, part. that's easy, man. It's It's getting in those uh connections and and faking it to almost faking it so you make it with these with these relationships you know what i mean it's like that's the hard part man so you, you gotta relax when you're in there just fit it try to and it's easier said than done but you gotta fit in be social laugh at people's shitty jokes you know don't just sit there and be like you know like you know you can't be a great you gotta chill you gotta chill man you gotta go with the flow yes and, and yes. like it's just it's so hard <laughs> yeah so big brother is so fucking Oops. hard especially when you're on the block like i was on the block the first two fucking weeks that i was eligible to go on the block that's crazy and then thankfully i went hoh and and i trusted spicy v after putting me up and i kept her safe and i just you know kept getting pushed i just hope we can see hopefully jess can pivot that's, like what, I'm, pivot. that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping man you know what I mean? so that's the thing like because it's not too late it's not too late you can literally go from it's being not, the target man. you can that's yeah. right that's right. And you can literally, like you say, you can pivot it away from you. As long as something else happens, you can fall back in the shadows exactly. and let and let them go at it, you know? And that's what I'm hoping happens because, uh, you know, fuck, I, I want Jess to be the champion. I want Jess to come and, and be that champion, you know? Like, imagine that. Going from on the block week one, like, basically on your way out the door, wins the veto, fast forward 10 weeks, and you're looking at the champion of Big Brother Canada 10. I would love that. I would yeah. love that. I'm I'm happy for whoever wins at this point. Um, definitely, and she's from BC. That's it's yo, that's time. sick. That's 
I got to go. That's why, you know, That's right. Herms wasn't thinking that. Like I, like I seen, you know, Josh, I was like, Josh, when I was on my scene, I was like, you're BC, I'm BC. And it was same with Julie, but then, you know, obviously things went down and crazy and yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, no, it's so, I didn't think it was going to be, I wanted to tell you that, but we were playing goose goose duck the last time. So I didn't want to get too much into it. Um, is it duck, duck, goose or goose, goose, duck? Goose, Anyways, goose, goose, um, goose. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, great i'm so excited the live feeds are up tonight yo oh yeah my partner she's a big live feeder nice so she's gonna keep me updated i don't even really gotta watch them too much nice and obviously if you're on twitter at all you get all the updates yeah yeah gonna get spoiled. It's, it's uh i think the cast is gonna do do well man i'm i'm, I'm liking everybody yeah um i agree but... i think i think this cast is uh there's so much potential all across the board like there's so many people that i think can bring it i mean i can't I, honestly I'm loving, I'm loving summer, man. I don't know. I, I'm loving. I love summer. I'm I loving to, summer. I'm for um, Canada's, uh, to win Canada's fave. Who do you think is going to be, sorry? I pick summer. Yeah, it's uh, probably going to be summer. I, I agree. As Canada's fave. And I pick Josh as, as my winner. That's a good pick. That's a very good pick. Yeah, I like Josh's and, demeanor. I like, I think he's, I think it's a very, very good pick. I, I'm with you on that. I think uh, it's a very good pick. Josh from my season picked Molina to win the game. So that... <laughs> that was a yikes. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's yeah, it yeah. is. It's it, it, it was a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> he said Molina. That was like okay, let me tell you something. My bottom tier is like Kevin, Molina, uh, uh what's her name? Um Helena. Helena's I love Helena. I think I on a on a personal level. I, I love Helena. I think she's amazing. Like I love, like I said, I love people that can laugh at themselves and she's like clumsy. Not gonna, I love that. She's knocking over the glass and stuff. And she's just a very good personality. Okay. But uh game player, you know, different story. So I, I think the bottom for me is like Kevin, Melina and Helena would be my bottom three, I would say. And then uh, mm -hmm. at the top, I would say uh, Josh is definitely up there. Josh, I think he has good, good demeanor, good, good uh, social game. He's, he's very like, uh, you look at him, he's very inviting. You know, he's very calm, inviting, yep. you know, big, tall, good looking, buff, but he's not like, uh, you know, he's not like aggressive out there. And like, you know, he's very like a uh, chill guy. I like that, you know, nice smile. Like, he's inviting. You know, you see him and you're like, yo, I wanna be his from magnetism. You know, he's got that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moose is cool too. Moose is cool too. Moose is cool too. But I love his hair, man. He sang a lot, but I like what he, I mean, he had safety. You gotta take that into right. consideration. Half of them so did. He could, them. So he could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I lot. had safety my first week, and I did the exact same thing. I went out on a limb to just tell everybody that Jed is safe. Like that was my goal was to get that phrase circulating. Mm -hmm. Right. And it did, and Jed was safe. He got taken off the block. Everyone's just like, Jed's not on the block, and you know, it pissed That's some right. people off. But at the end of the day, he was never even looked at. And that I know was, I was, that was my number one pick. I remember that it was um, good. I remember that. Yeah. Yo, how actually, I created the or how we created the sunsetters. I can't take credit because there was a lot of moving parts. But uh, yeah, of course. But apparently, yeah. they're doing a, a, a twist, a team twist this week. Apparently, I mean, I don't know if it's this week, but it's coming up. Whoa. I don't know. So here's the th okay. What are your thoughts? Because I, I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not. A I don't like the team stuff. I personally don't like the team stuff. Fuck the teams. I'm yeah. Just glad I was. A kid, but I didn't get picked last. Oh, I know that'd be uh -huh. horrible. <laughs> 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 yeah man. but uh i think so I, I don't like the team twist but one thing i love that they're doing right now is that they're like okay literally the phone ringing the phone that's season one the first yeah, uh all season one yeah P -O -V, Trump, season POV, one. yep season one so, so i wonder two. i wonder canada, if every uh, week canada hoh well think about it right there's 10 seasons there's 10 weeks so week one was uh, this is what I'm thinking. Week one was season one. Week two is season two. Week three is season three. Week four is season four. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. See, week five could be backwards week. You know what I mean? That could be that twist. We don't know, but I think every week they're going to do a fucking that, – that's the season, right? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about backwards week. Backwards week, week bitches. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, fuck. <laughs> A little That's... more iconic room fit than Bruno kicking a duffel. Jesus, <laughs> man, I don't even want to talk yeah, about well, it. Yo, a Canada HOH would be lit. That's yeah. what changed season two around in 100%. Canada because things were rolling yeah. in a dark way. Like they were going the completely wrong way. Then that guy, oh, what was his uh, name? Andrew. Andrew. 
Andrew. Andrew. Holy shit. I couldn't imagine <laughs> coming out of the house what it oh. was like for him. Well, that was the thing. Because oh, the, oh, I only seen the, what they showed in the episodes. Yeah. I didn't see the live right. feeds. I couldn't imagine. Was there live feeds in the back then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were. Yeah, Andrew oh. was hated. Shit. Dude. Oh yeah, he he didn't get a good warm welcome. That's for sure. Yeah, we ain't gonna be seeing him in uh, no, May, are we? No, fin- <laughs> no, no. I tell you, <laughs> so I. <laughs> No, I've been, I've been to uh, I've been to a bunch of them. I've been since season three. I've gone to every. So I've been to season three, four, five, six, seven was the last one I think they did. So I've been to five finales. And the, yeah, yeah, there's I, there's some of them that I don't. I'm gonna show. extend my trip in Toronto and try to push that one gig that I'm doing back. Well, or shorten it, because I, I don't want to miss alumni night. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, it's so. gonna be dope, man. That's that's a that's a really good night. I don't know where it's gonna be this year, but yeah, you should be going to like you know someone's house, usually at Neil's or something. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if Neil's in Toronto anymore, but uh, we go to someone's house um, and it's like everybody's there, dude. Like literally, there's Peter, like Peter four and people. He said Jesse. Jesse, I'm guessing from BBUS. Yeah, uh, no, Jesse from uh, season six. Season six, Jesse jesse uh, larson oh he was out kind of early yeah he was like week uh yeah like three or something four two oh. yeah yeah jesse big guy big guy oh okay yeah yeah, yeah 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 so they're uh cool. so so uh those two i think are taking care of it they're organized I, I was talking to peter today actually about it um yeah I'm, I'm gonna try to make it work i'm gonna try to go down man that'd be dope yeah oh i'm de- i'm definitely going my, my i just got to figure out my flights here really quick and then uh get my hotel God, but, we're gonna finally meet up man yeah but it's during my fiance's birthday which is tough it's a tough look it's really Dude, just so I'm gonna buy her something, something bring her some bring her something nice yeah some yeah like a toronto maple leaf jersey or something there you go there you go so i so it's it, is it on i think it's on mother's is it on mother's day this year so it's been on mother's day every year since season three so yeah. i i always leave a day i always come back home like a day early um just so you know i come back for it because for me, it's a drive. It's a five-hour drive. So I don't, you know, it's easy for me. I just wake up early. Yo, see you later, everybody. You know, say goodbye, blah, 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 blah. Boom, I drive home that day, and I get home by, you know, noon or something, or like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then like, so dinner and stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, I always leave like a day early when I come back. But I'm always there for all the stuff, the finale night and the, and the Big Brother alum party and, you know, the Niagara Falls stuff and, and all that stuff. But it's, it's a great time. Man. I mean, I haven't gone since uh, season seven. This will be the three years. This will be the, the first time in three years. So I don't even know what the community is like anymore. I don't even know who's going to go anymore. But it used to be like everybody, man. Like everybody. And like, that's all on everybody's own dime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. But lucky for me, I'm, I'm, it's a four-hour drive. It's just a gas tank. Yeah, yeah. You know, a tank of gas. You know what I mean? But some people fly, man. So we were thinking of what we were thinking of doing. I'm going to have to take like four flights. Yeah, it's, yeah, such for you, man. So what we were thinking of doing actually the last couple of years, but then obviously COVID happened. But what we were thinking of doing was just because a lot of the people come from like Calgary and Vancouver, all of our friends, right? And it's far for them. So we were thinking of just actually get going and, and getting an all-inclusive resort, going to an all-inclusive resort. It would cost them the same amount. It would cost me a lot more, but it would cost them the same amount to go to Toronto or to an all-inclusive resort for a week. And we were just going to go and chill there, just like whoever we wanted, right? Five, six, seven of us that we just want to chill with. And we're just going to go to an all-inclusive resort and just have fun. But the whole point is to meet the cast and welcome in. Because we didn't even get to welcome yeah. you guys in, man. No, I know. You know what I mean? Like, Fuck. I think that's a big thing because, you know, you guys went right from the show to home. So, and like, same with season eight, man. And you could see the drama. Like, and, you know, it's like, it's it's tough because every other season we get to go to the finale you get to meet everybody. We welcome them in. Like they, we kind of ease them into reality, right? Where it's like you guys literally left the show. You go home. There's no like nobody that understands what you went through. That we could just kind of chill, have a few drinks, chill, shoot the shit. You know what I mean? Like you just go right from the show to home, and that's what the finale weekend's for. Like we all get to hang out and just get to meet each other. Like I've never met you. You know, we play games and shit. We chill, but I've never actually met yeah. you. You know, and uh, so you know, it's I'm nice to be. Guy. Yeah, it's nice to meet each other, hang out, you bond, you know, and just have fun. And then yeah, just you know. There's a lot of really cool people in the community, man. I mean, but like I said, since season seven, I haven't met anybody in season eight. I haven't met anybody in season nine. And obviously, I haven't met anybody in season 10 yet, which is crazy to me. Because usually, I meet them right as they come out. I'm like, you know? So, mm-hmm. it's crazy. I know you're pumped for it. I mean, I, I love Finale Weekend. You know what they used to do? So, when on uh, uh, season Will three. Will we get to go, like, meet the cast? Not So, yes. After, yeah. Not, not at the studio. Yeah. So, what they used to do was we used to. So, okay. So, season two was uh they all got invited at finale to go to the live taping so they actually got to watch the winner get crowned season three got to watch the season uh sorry 
Season two got to watch season three's winners. Season three got to go to the season four finale. After season four, they changed it. So all of us on season three, we got invited to the finale if we were in Toronto. And we were in the stands and we were able to watch the finale live in the studio. The whole cast was there. All my whole season three cast was in the stands. And the, 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 the community loved it because the whole cast is there. You know, and then uh, yeah. and then they changed that at season five. They said, no, no more of that. So now if you want to go to a taping, I used to go to like one taping a year. Um, you have to like call in advance. Like, yo, I want to go to a taping. Like, yeah, no problem. They, they'll set you a few seats aside. Like they have like set a certain seats that that like alums sit at and they set them aside and then you can just show up and, and sit there. But yeah, you, you can't go to like uh, can't go to the finale anymore. Damn. Yeah, I know. And that was fun. That was wild, dude. But on season four, they actually had like a red carpet and shit. It was fucking wild, man. They had like this crazy entrance for us and people were losing their shit, man. It was crazy. It's crazy. Feeds are up. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, are they? Yo, no. The feeds are up. Are they? I don't think the feeds are up. Some of my stream severe said the feeds are up. I don't think so. I think they're up in an hour, aren't they? They got to be an oh hour. Oh, my God. They got it. You want some spoilers? The feeds are up? You hey, want hold on. Spoiler? Yeah. If anybody doesn't want a spoiler, what's that? I know who won HOH. Are we happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Am I happy? Mm, I think so. I think you're really happy. Like I'm super happy? I don't think, well, it would be a gutless move to go after Jess if this person was HOH. I don't know. Let's hear it. Spill it. Marty. No way. Party Marty? Yo, let's get some Party Marty in the chat. Holy Let's get some party Marty in the what? chat. So yo, you know what I think? Here's what I think. If they made a okay, hold on. Now I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. I don't know the 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 what's going on in the in the show. Obviously, I have no idea. But because it's Marty, uh Tanisha, um, Kyle, and Gino. So those four are good. What if they target Herman and Moose uh, or Josh? Because those three are, are a trio, and I'm sure they noticed that. If we noticed that, they noticed that, right? And so what if they're like, yo, we got to break up that trio? I, I don't think they can go after Jess. I don't think they can. I hope not. That. I don't think so. You think I so? I hope not. I mean, th there's that tendency to just do whatever the house wants to of, do. Of course. You know what I mean? Of course. But you know what that means? If you do what that – okay, so whenever – some, this is one thing I want to explain. So – Whenever people say do what the house wants, basically what that means is you're doing what the majority alliance wants you to do. The yeah. house is the majority alliance. And if they're telling you this is what we're doing, everyone's like, well, that's what the house wants. Well, who the fuck is the house? It's the majority alliance. And they're telling everyone this is who we want out. You know what I mean? And then everyone's like, okay, that works for me because it's not me. And then it's like, yep, this is, who, this is who the house wants. That's the majority alliance. So uh, who got evicted? Melina. Melina, Melina. Yo, that's sick, Marty, man. That's crazy. Uh, he I said he was gonna go for all of them. <laughs> that was my pick for first boot was Marty. Really? Huh? Yeah. I didn't. You know, the, the older the older guy. I I see it. I see it. I just went. I went with the odds there. You know right. what I'm saying? So for me, it's like I, with, the one thing I was saying about yeah. Marty because he's a hockey coach, right? So he's gonna bond yeah. with the hockey kid. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's a hockey coach, AAA hockey coach. So I, fi I said that's what I was saying in the stream earlier, the, the before the the, the cat or when the cast was released. It's like he's gonna try to bond with the hockey guys. You know, what I mean, that's his thing. That's what he knows. He's a hockey coach. Well, who's a hockey guy? Kyle. Who's a hockey guy? Uh, I mean, I don't know if Gino is or anything, but you know, it's like you're gonna try to bond with those guys. Who's he partnered up with? Kyle. You know what I mean? So it's like that's who. It, that's what he knows is the is the hockey guys. That's his lingo. That's his. The people he hangs around with is the hockey bros, you know? So uh, two of my three picks are in that alliance, so it works for you. Nice. Good. I didn't hear. I didn't like her. Yeah, I, she was – listen, I got to tell you, first of all, I thought Melina was – first of all, she's beautiful. I thought she was so beautiful, man. But that only yep. gets you so far, right? And uh, – but I don't like when people say like, – like her whole bio. Her whole bio was, I don't like people. I don't like talking to people. I don't like breathing. Yeah. I don't like sitting. I don't like standing. I don't like <laughs> – it's like, holy crap, man. Like, you know, like – right there it's like you're gone like you, that, that that is big brother like literally i don't like talking to people well guess what man like what are you doing in that what do you think you're gonna do there just sit in the corner for uh, 10 weeks you know what i mean you, you know what's crazy is like that's why i think me and latoya had such a special bond is because i could not do that shit you know what i mean like i i i had a lot of issues like blending with the whole house and doing whole house activities mm -hmm. i hated it right um but when i would be chilling with lt we'd literally just be sitting there in silence just chilling not yeah. doing anything occasionally saying something laughing at a joke doing what like, 
I yeah. think that's why we got along so well because she didn't have that type of energy for that type of shit, and she right. was like struggling right. to get in it. We we both tried, and we both actually talked about it how we didn't like to be a part of the group, and we would rather just like chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, I why I can't we just chill and talk. I've explained it too. Sometimes we'll be sitting on the couch. There'll be six people, like five people sitting on the couch. No one's saying a word for like two hours. You're sitting on the fucking couch. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it is. Everyone's just sitting there minding their business. I like, I, I, I'm okay with that. You know, it doesn't have to be loud all the time. Like, you know, and that, and that's mm -hmm. saying if you could, if you find someone like you saying you found Latoya and you guys could just sit on the couch and just chill and there's no problems, you're just not, you don't have to like have white noise in the background just like talking. You know what I mean? Like, you could just chat and just have peace and you're good. Like, you don't feel like you have to talk to each other. That's good. You know, it's peace of mind. So, Marty, who's he going to put up? Who's he going to put up? You don't want my prediction. I want it. I, I think he's going to put up Jess and Kevin. Jess and Ke that's the easy That's the easy route. That's the easy route. And that's the very easy route. It, if, okay, uh, for me, I always just go with easy money or what I think right. is going to be so I'm right more often because I don't like to be wrong. <laughs> so, who, who I want him to put up is completely different. I'd love to see him put up like... Uh, even though I love Tanisha, maybe like a, a Gino and Tanisha or a Gino and Kyle or a, but he's he's in with Gino. I, They're in an alliance together. Kevin is? Marty is? Yeah. It's Marty, Tanisha, Kyle, and Gino. Did Marty do the thing? Marty did the thing. I did not notice Marty doing the thing. Marty did the thing. Well, that's good for Marty, man. Way to get in on that. Holy yeah. shit. So that's what I'm saying. So he's got his okay. alliance. So putting up Kev. Kevin. I could see yeah. Kevin. I think Kevin's going to sit on that block. So here's here's my prediction with Kevin. Either they're going to get rid of him because they're annoyed with him, or he's going to sit on that block every single week. He's going to be the, the designated pawn. You know what I mean? It's either he's going to be on that. So, okay, okay, hold on. What happened with that door? Is that an every week thing, these doors, or is that just this one time? I'm wondering. and Because where are they getting this money, man? <laughs> Shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, they never <laughs> even said who, what sponsored money this is. Like, where the fuck you get this money, man? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I survived the block three times, so I could I could have got some money there. You know what right? I'm saying? Braden from my season could have been rich. Yo, yeah, <laughs> man. He lived on that thing. <laughs> yeah. That was like Brittany on season three. She'd be, a, she'd be retired right now. She's on the block eight weeks out of ten. <laughs> yo, Britt. I love Britt. She'd be retired right now. You know? Shit. <laughs> Oh shit. Yo, I hated the block, man. I hated it. It was just like this thing on your shoulders when you walked around. Dude. God, I I, you know what's crazy? I didn't even know what that felt like until season till like week eight of season five. I went all dude, I didn't know what that felt like, dude. I, know. I played I two seasons, man, both of them. Yeah. And let me tell you, holy shit. Bro, I hate twists. Yeah, there's man. definitely a reason why they brought you back. Like, fuck, man. Not only did you play a great game, but they fucking got you fucking oh, hard. I know yeah, twist. that's so and then with the secret power of veto like Dude. William come on man buddy I uh, got screwed twice man I mean that's just twice, I'm a magnet to that shit I'm a magnet yeah you are you are dude it's just <sighs> it's, the, it's the way it is man you it's know twist. it's man it's just it's so much luck and skill and endurance like yep. people have no big brother is so hard like i was i was getting such bad anxiety watching that episode man like he brought me back to sitting on that couch i tell that's, that's what i try, that's what i try to explain to people it's like when you're watching it at home it's so easy everyone the answers are all there like you know what people's real intentions are you know who they're working with you know if they're being honest to the person they're talking to when you're in the house you have no idea like we could be having this conversation like this in the house it could be a 100% lie back and forth, and you have no idea. But the people watching at home could be like, okay, they know what your real, real intentions are, what my real intentions are. But me and me and you were in the house having that conversation. You know, you, you have to – you don't know what's real and not. You don't know if I'm – I don't know if you're really with me or not. You know, like we just don't mm -hmm. know. You know, and it's like that's 100%. the hard part. That's the hard part. Whereas when you're watching from home, you have all the answers in front of you. That's why everyone says, oh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to be the mastermind. I already, I know the show in and out. I always know what to do. I play along while I watch and I always get it right. Well, of course. You literally know everybody's alliances and, and family tree, everything. Fuck, you know what I mean? You know everything, mm -hmm. man. So that's why you get it right. And when you're in the house, you don't have these cheat sheets. You literally have to go with what you, what you know. You know what I mean? So. Uh, it's very, 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 very different. And I think that's and that's one thing everyone always says when they come out. They're like, yo, it's a lot harder than I thought. Well, of course. It's like you don't have that cheat sheet in front of you telling you all the answers. You got to figure it out. And if you're wrong, you know, you don't get a second. If you're wrong, you're done. Like you, you can't get it wrong. You know, you just can't. 
and uh that's the way it is it is it's so fucking hard and the yeah. thought of going back and doing it again is like it it gives me super bad anxiety <laughs> to put myself through it all over again Dude, I especially in the age of like twitter and everything like I'd be ruthless. I don't know. I think I'd get out, voted out right away. People would be like, yo, fuck this guy. Like, peace. So that's, See you later. So See that's later, what I, when I went back, I was like, I'm screwed. Like, cause the pro, the, here's what happens. The first time you play, nobody knows who you are, right? Nobody knows what you're saying in the diary rooms. Nobody knows what you're capable of. Nobody knows about your social game or your athleticism or whatever it is. They don't know you at all. They just, from, from them, I was Bruno for, for you. You were just Kiefer. That was it. They don't know anything about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that you've played, they've watched everybody that's played before. If they're getting called back, they've watched your season. Okay. So now they know, okay, he's good at this. This is his strengths. This is his weekend. So the first time I played, nobody they all thought i was some old man they're like they used to call me uncle bruno man they used to call me uncle bruno because they're all 20 years old dude i'm a black belt in martial arts i played semi-pro soccer i've been an athlete my entire life but they didn't see me as that they saw me as this old man i was 31 years old dude so i was like perfect you know no problem you want to see me as an old man let's play it up so i could play it up and they didn't know what i was actually doing in the background or what i was doing playing along but the second when you go back you can't fool them anymore they're like yo no. that's you know bruno or Kiefer or whoever you know what i mean they're like that's bruno he's got a good social game he's athletic he's he's strategic you know they uh, they know now so you can't you you can't the the things that worked for you they're not going to work because they're like they're watching for it you know like uh that's just the way it is so it's, it's a lot harder the second time because they know your your play they know your your what you do what you what you can do and what you can't and uh that's 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 the harder part is you're figured out by then but I mean, if you're good enough, you can figure it out. And then, or if there's twists that'll find you again, you know, they'll get you again. You know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> the big brother twist, man. Dude. Yo, fuck. So, what do you think they're gonna do uh, for your se for your season? Because I, I, I mean, here's the thing. Oh, yo, Mad Cow, what's up, baby? Thank you so much for the raid, baby. Yo, uh, w the way I see it, like I said, I think every week is gonna be a twist. So, I think for season three, it'll probably be the triple. Right? Season, yeah. what do you think yours is going to be? Like the team twist or no? What do you think yours is going to be? Uh, it's going to be way too deep into the game. If it's season, like if it's not. Oh, that's you know. right. That's right. That's so, right. So that'd be I like, what I'd like to see is like maybe like an invisible veto where they play it in secret and they use it in secret. Um, the chances are it just doesn't get played. That would have, like, that would be a good thing to do earlier on. If you have the invisible HOH, so why not the invisible veto? Like nobody knows who that's won it. Right. You can't say if you want it. But so. week nine, how would that work? I don't know. If they, yeah, I don't know if they no, can do it. Work. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work nine. because the veto is work. everything. No, hopefully someone has to go through what I went through and they destroy the house in a fucking food fight and then the have nots got to clean it up because I had to do that shit and I got a fucking oh. spaghetti dinner after it and I had to fucking just pretend like I was okay with that. That uh. was backbreaking fucking work while people were demoralizing you for TV. Uh. Oh. Dude, yeah. man, did they? Did production ever fuck with you? Yes. What are you talking about all dude, the time? Dude. I believe so. Yeah. So I want to. I'm gonna tell you something. What happened on? I'll tell you what happened on season five. You know when we did the uh, the the the, um, the cookie child the cookie thing with backwards week. Yeah. 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 A nice smile on your face. He's got a big smile. He's like, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I just He's got a big smile. <laughs> I just watched season five. So get this. This is a true story. Okay. So we were all sitting in the pink room or whatever, the, the far room, the far one, not the one closer yeah. to the bathroom, the far one. I don't know what it was for your season. What was that? What Destiny. room was that? Destiny room. Destiny. Okay, so the Destiny room for you guys. And uh, so they're telling us what we're about to do. So we're all about to ask them questions. Okay, uh, is this going to be uh, – are we going to be able to – is that going to be – there's, okay, you're going to go down and vote or whatever it was. They told us that what's going to happen. And we said, okay, so we started asking questions. And they said, okay, we're never going to show – nobody in the house is going to see what you do or you say so you could speak freely. And then we're like, okay, so you're sure? Like, you're sure that you're never... They're like, no, no, we're only going to show this for TV. We're not going to show it to anybody else in the house. So we're like, okay, cool. You know, when they tell you that, you trust it, right? So we go downstairs. And that's why people are starting, like, saying shit. They're talking shit while they're doing it. We thought it was just for TV. And they showed all of our fucking cookie things. And it <laughs> so for, like, three seconds of footage on TV, it fucked a lot of people's... Like, it fucked my relationship with Karen. And I was building that for, like, fucking three weeks like chipping away at this you know and finally we're good and i'm like yes i get there i put a cook, couple cookies in her thing and she's like yo fuck you but i'm like fuck like i just worked three weeks like i don't think you're real like people don't realize three weeks like not just like three hours three fucking weeks of chipping away at karen and then finally we're good it's like all right sweet and then like 
fucking three second footage just, just shambled that you know and it's like fuck yeah like no, shit I like that dude. Had that ha- i did the dream boat and if you went around you pick two people to go up against each other um and i like that was when i was like the house target at the time for riding out spicy anyways uh i picked <laughs> brayden and tara and like yo i'm pitching tara for the final four and she brings up the sh- the dream cruise She's like, why did you pick me in the Dream Cruise? I'm like, I didn't pick you. She's like, you picked me and Brayden first. I was like, what? I did? Like, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I just picked them because they're in the middle of the house and I didn't think that they were working together. So I wouldn't be disrupting the big alliances that were happening. Right, right. But, Dude, you guys uh, ever have any... So on season, on season three, get this. You watched season three, you said, right? You just finished watching that too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so season three, man. We're hanging That's out in the... favorite season, by the way. That's your favorite season? seventh favorite out of the seven oh seventh favorite yeah but right the, behind season eight right just what do you mean behind season eight <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean season what do you mean behind season eight i'm playing i'm playing I love season three. they didn't give you guys furniture for the first couple Bro, fucking days listen know, man was, like when i say rude. torture when i say listen when i say torture i mean torture man like so you went in the house with all your clothes Okay. Did you go in with a? I don't remember. You didn't go in with a suit, right? You went in with like a t-shirt, right? If I remember. I had a t-shirt and a blazer and jeans that didn't fit right. I right. was the most uncomfortable fat dude you ever seen in your life. Okay. Picture this. Okay. I go in in a fucking full out suit, like dress shirt, dress pants, dress socks, suit, jacket, tie, all that shit. Okay. We have no furniture. We have no clothes. <laughs> we have no, no underwear. Nothing. Like, I had to wear that suit. For three days, man, I had to sleep on the floor, put my suit back on. Like, I had a suit for three days, man. Three, not even a change of underwear, dude. My fucking three days, man, in a suit, sweating, just, fuck, dude. That was brutal. Sleeping on the floor and shit, like, it was just brutal, man. Trust me, we got we got tortured, man. It was brutal. Uh, but that's... Like torture. And just knowing the house, like, knowing what it's like, you're already uncomfortable. Like, yeah, man. Think- Oh my! I'm 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 actually decent at sleeping on the floor. I spent a lot of time sleeping on the I floor. I did too. Kitchen. Same here, man. Girl, Floors, I couches. Been, I would have been okay. I would have been okay, but it yeah, was rough, it, dude. Just anything. Like that's why they need. Yeah. It so. was rough. So yeah, we had like that, man. That was rough, dude. Yeah, I wish I talked to you right after I watched season three. I had so many questions. Um, but I'm, dude, that was a good. That was that was a some questions i'd like to ask off stream yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll answer whatever you yeah you can hit me up anytime because i'm going to be running into these people someday yeah yeah you can ask me uh you can ask me anything off stream we'll, we'll definitely do those for you seeing like people talk about you who are former players and shit and like maybe dissing you you know what i didn't even have zero so i didn't even have twitter before big brother mm-hmm. so i didn't know any of the i didn't know any of them i didn't know like i was like totally i had no no knowledge of big brother like i knew big brother but i didn't know about big brother twitter none of that uh after the show uh you know what there was i think netta because netta was a sarah fan netta was a big sarah fan so netta and i didn't get along not that we didn't get along but we weren't like yeah. friends you know what i mean yeah. uh sarah was there sorry netta was definitely one and the worst part the funny thing is so when i went back for season five i assumed netta was going to be there i didn't know for sure but i figured netta was like you know one of the best players back then and yeah. so going in, my mindset was, I'm going to get rid of Netta right away. She's my day one target going in. I didn't even know if she's on the show. I just assumed she was going back. She was even my day one target. She ends up being my my like cl- my closest ally. Her and Kevin are my two allies in there. But that's how crazy it is when you go back. You think you're going to do one thing, and then you go in, and you're like – because uh, the season five, I think it was set up that it was supposed to be me against Netta. It was supposed to be me against mm-hmm. Netta because they knew we didn't like, like – not that we didn't like each other. We had no relationship whatsoever. We did not talk, nothing before season five. Like, I was off on season three. We had zero relationship up until we went into the house. Like it was two years of no talking to each other. We get into the house, boom! First time we meet each other, she comes. First thing she says, we hug. She's like, "I'm so glad you're here." And I was like, "Wait, what?" Like, you know what I mean? I was like, "Wait, I didn't expect that." But yeah, she was happy I was there, and then we ended up working together like that. But my my initial target going in, my initial process was get rid of Netta. Yeah, and then look what happened. Ended up being working with her. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But on season on season three, dude. On season three. Uh, now okay i want to tell you something uh, did you guys so i don't know if you know about this if you go upstairs you know upstairs when you walk in the in the house if you put your ear to the floor you can actually hear in the yeah. diary room yeah so they yeah, still it's still there yeah but yeah. they they say uh um 
I forget who was doing it, but they're just Big Brother was just like, get up, yeah. Uh, I think it might have been Jed. They're like, Jedson, yeah. stop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on to it so now. We just never. There was two spots. Did it. There was we two spots. We can always hear Beth yelling. Really? Yeah. Time in the DR. Like, I did a couple DRs with Beth, and I'm like, do you really yell like this all the time? She's like, yep. <laughs> I know. That's Beth. the worst. When you do the DRs, when you do the DR with somebody else, and then they see what you're like in the diary room. They're like, wait a minute. That's so that's what happened. Cause I did one with Brittany. There was actually like all of us. There was like yeah. six of us. We did it together. We, like I didn't, I didn't make the show, but it was like a thing they did for like the, the website. So we all picked a, a question out of a hat and then we asked, we, uh, we read the question out and then we answered it. And when I was doing mine and then they looked at me, they're like, yo, and then Brittany came to me and she's like, yo man, uh, uh, that's what you're like in the DR. And then that's when she started, she started, her wheels started turning. She's like, yo, what the hell? You know what I mean? Because it like put you know it's like yo wait wait what's this guy talking why is this guy talking like this in the dr it's something's going on you know and it's uh, you know but uh, one thing that happened so we had the chop shop on season three and yep. I was we're uh, we're sitting in the backyard on this so Greg's in the diary room get this okay Greg's in the diary room talking and it's myself and I think JP and Willow whatever hanging out in the backyard all of a sudden on the intercom we hear Greg's dr session being played in the backyard. And we just hear him saying the chop shop. That's all it says is the chop shop. You hear Greg's voice, the chop shop. <laughs> and then JP was like, what was that? And, and it's me and Willow. And we're like, oh, I don't know. I, I, we, I didn't hear anything. You know, but it's like, fuck. We called that malfuncture. We called them malfunctures it's on our crazy. season. Isn't that crazy? Because um, the alarms went off one night in our season. And like, we all had to hang out in one bedroom, blah, blah, blah. And then we finally got to go back to sleep. I don't know what time it was. And... The guy comes on over the intercom, the night crew. He's like, okay, that was just a malfunction house guest. You can go back to sleep. And we're all laying there silent. And I, I was just like, did this man just say malfunction? And, like, <laughs> everybody just fucking lost their shit and laughed for, like, what seemed to be hours. Dude. And then they woke us up, I think, early because we laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> uh, That's one thing I miss, man, is the house guests. Please wake up. I miss that. Fuck that, That's, dude. That's one. That I mean, no, like. Up. I'm at the time you don't though. at the yeah. time you don't miss it but i'm i'm pretty i'm still in it and i'm still saying fuck that so maybe you're just <laughs> a little further removed yeah maybe i'm just it. yeah maybe i forgot because dude i used to hate that no more the rooster oh yeah i never i got it a couple of times i i fell asleep i can't believe I, you know you don't get the nap in that house so that's another that's well, one thing i always that people don't get the nap yeah there's no napping you can't you know like there's like no singing no whistling like when i say when i say people don't understand what it's like in there it's like little things like that you 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 probably can't never sit brands yeah you can't talk about brands dude fucking oh my god this is one of my favorite stories season three godfrey uh, out of the blue he says he goes uh he starts saying how uh kfc is is horse meat don't or yeah don't eat that shit it's horse meat the don't eat kfc it's not you know and he's going on and on fucking all of a sudden they come on the intercom they're like yo you can't fucking sit there you're pissed they're pissed well, fuck, you fast forward three weeks. KFC is one of the main sponsors of fucking season three, dude. They gave away, I think it was five or $10,000. They That's were one right. of the main KFC. sponsors. Oh my God. And Godfrey was shitting on them. And they literally come on the intercom and be like, yo, stop that. And they were like pissed, dude. Like they were shutting that shit down. And we had no idea. Fuck, we have no idea what the hell's going on. You know what I mean? And like, what are the chances? And any brand he could have talked about, he says, KFC, don't eat there. It's fucking horse meat. And then uh, faster. And guess you who know, wins? Like, yeah. And guess who wins the fucking challenge, dude? Godfrey. They had to pay him five or ten thousand dollars, dude. Oh no! Oh no! Oh Godfrey, I loved Godfrey's game that season. He's a beauty, man. Godfrey's a good guy. I like yeah. Godfrey. He's a, he's a good cat. He's a good, he's one of my good buddies. It's funny, funny as hell. Anything, oh, I don't think we'll ever see anybody play the game like Godfrey. Dude, wait, wait till you uh, meet him. Wait till you meet him. Ever you're again. Laugh. Yo. Dude. Oh, yeah. one thing was um I'm from season three, Willow. Oh my god, my heart broke for Dude. Willow. Jesus. That yeah. was one of the most savage things that was I'd rough. ever seen in my life. The most one of the most unnecessary. I want to talk about shafted. Yeah. Holy shafted. Do you want do, yo, what were your thoughts on the first triple? Because I mean was, here's the thing. So you already knew about triples by the time you watched that. But that was that was the first time ever, man. Like that was un- like that was unprecedented. That was never seen before. A triple eviction. So like, I literally lived through the moment when they're like, "Yo, three people are leaving tonight." Like that's huge. When you go from like ten to seven, like that's a big jump. Like that's a big, 
like I, I couldn't yeah. imagine. We were we talked about the triple on our season. We're like we just couldn't imagine losing that many people because after one person left, like after Julie left, the house felt out like empty. Right. And Josh left, and it felt more empty. And then it just kept feeling emptier and emptier and emptier. So and then when we hit our first double, we're standing there. We're like, I think we were the final seven, and we're just like holy shit like this is fucked up <laughs> yeah man like lost spice and row in one day and it's uh, it, it makes a big hole now. like the, the house just grows so fast yeah like it's literally yeah like okay Kiefer, nominate your people i'm just like dude could you imagine like, like i thought i thought we we're gonna cut the commercial here <laughs> <laughs> dude it's crazy like when i when i'm telling you man like when we were sitting there and they're like yo it's a triple tonight uh, like we're just like, what the hell does that even mean? Like, how does that even work? Like, there's no rules to it. We've never seen this before. So they'd yeah. explain like, okay, this is what's going on. And, and, uh, dude, I was like, I have to win this. Like, if I don't win this, I'm going home, you know? And that's when it was like the whole, and that was and the beautiful part and not to pat myself on the back, but it wasn't a boring triple. Like it was the first ever triple and it was like a bomb. Like Zach gets saved. The yeah, guy is back in the trip. Yeah, man. So the edit before the edit, I didn't get the live feeds, blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to see Zach go. Oh, 100%. Um, you know? Everybody. So I was just, and that's why, because I was live tweeting my mind watching. And I was like, Gruno don't want the fucking video. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, he fucking used it on Zach. But I, in retrospect, great fucking move, man. And, yeah. you know, if if some Big Brother players had half the balls you had, they probably would fucking be legends and, and in the game. There's so many non-used vetoes where people right. just don't take that risk. Like, you took that risk, and it didn't come back to get you. Like, most of the time, it doesn't come back to get you when you save somebody who can help you in the game. It just, right. in my brain, it don't make sense to leave your allies up on there when you can save a strong ally. Like, 100%. It drives me nuts. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's the I thing, man. conversations with Rohan. Like, yeah, I, you know, Austin's probably a better bet for your game to, to save. Like using the veto. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why he didn't use it. Dude, it's crazy. That's a, so it's like he's gonna use it. Like, why wouldn't he? It makes so much fucking sense. Well, like that's, it would be stupid for him not to. That's the thing. And and that's and, and that's the thing. It's another hard part about the game. It's like you in your head, you know it works, and you're like, yo, if this guy uses the veto or whatever the situation is, it works. But it's if they don't see it, and you're like, just fucking see this. Like it's it's works for both of us. It's great for both of us. If they don't yeah, see I it, gonna, they don't want them it. to use it. So but. yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in whatever situation, right? Like whatever. It, I'm just using the veto as an example. Any situation. It's like yeah. when you see the play and you know it's good, but the other person that has that power of whatever it is, if they don't see it, and it, it would benefit their game, but they either don't believe it or don't see it, then there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? It's just that's that's the shit. That's the shit of it. That's the hard part of the game is is getting people to do the right moves that obviously you're looking for out for yourself but it's those times that it's like listen man this really will benefit you but they just don't buy it and then it's like well then you get fucked out of it like dude could you imagine like man uh the whole uh using the veto on somebody else to pull the other person off the block while they sat on it dude what a disaster i was sitting with so listen to this guy i was sitting with kev will has two vetoes yeah dude like that was a, when you have that like that's a play you can make to switch the Whoa. game and gain power <laughs> It. who would have went up though it would have been uh who was there it would have been uh trey uh, might have went up would have been karen and dylan would have been Whoa. karen and dylan Oof. and they would have had no 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 uh no choice and then we would have had all the power and we would have had our numbers versus everything. like you know what i mean but that's the thing but if the other person see, doesn't see that what are you gonna do yeah yeah they're the ones with yeah. the decision it wasn't it was a miracle will even use that veto I know it's insane, man. It's insane. But that's what I mean. It's like the game itself, when knowing who's with who is okay. It's 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 making those moves that you ha like convincing people to do like like the whole Cindy putting up Netta. Like how the fuck does that happen, right? So like how does that happen, man? But it's like, you know, it and, and you're telling Cindy, do not do that. And she's like, I'm gonna do it. And it's like, no, 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 do not do that. And her choice screws up your game and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of luck involved in Big Brother. There's a lot of bullshit that goes on in Big Brother. Um, again, the right play. Don't put up Netta. You can tell them as many times as you want. If 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 Cindy decides to put her up, well, now your game's fucked, and it has nothing to do with you. You know, it is the way it is. That's the shitty thing about Big Brother, man. It's other people's mistakes will affect you, and that's the part that people uh, don't understand either. It's just you're just fucking hanging them by the seat of your pants. Even when I was safe, I never felt safe once, mm -hmm. ever, never. Never Dude, felt be... safe. And I was like, like, man, I feel like I had such a good grasp of the house. As soon as I lost that power of veto, I knew there wasn't an ounce 
of anything I could fucking do to stay in the house. There was nothing I could do. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, man. Just, like, I, every ceremony, I'm sitting there shitting my pants. If you're trying to keep a, a good composure, you know, but you're sitting there going, fuck, is this the time I'm going up? Is this the time I'm going up? Fuck. You know, you never know, man. So you said Marty won HOH. Any word on who he's putting up? Uh, no. I just see a lot of chatter of doing the easy thing and put up Kevin and Jess. Yeah, Just everyone's gonna say that. that, and I bet you, I bet you, who's gonna push that is gonna be Moose is gonna push that, Herman's gonna push that, Josh is gonna push that because that's the group that took the shot or wanted them out. So basically, they're gonna be like, "Yo, put put those two up because it's again doing their dirty work for them." And yeah, you know what I mean. And if they if they spread that around enough, it's the house wants that. So if those three people are going around saying, "Yo, I think Jess and uh, and Kevin should go up." And then the next person is like, oh, as long as it's me, I don't, it's not me. I don't give a shit. I'll say that too. So then they go next, yo, Jess and uh, everyone's saying Jess and, uh, and Kevin. And then they go around, yeah, everyone's saying Jess and Kevin. That's how the word spreads. Next thing you know, the house wants Jess and Kevin, you know, and, and that's just uh, the way it is. Oh, I hope 100%. it's not Jess. I hope it's not, not that way. Yeah. But I mean, if, if Marty's already with everybody, but Tanisha did say she liked Kevin and spent a lot of time with him. So we just haven't got much. We got the live feeds now. Oh, fuck. Crazy, it's, man. It's, it's exciting, man. I can't stop smiling. Like, I feel like I have purpose, <laughs> which is a beautiful thing to have in fucking life. I didn't realize that everything isn't Big Brother, but this is how I've always, I've, I've never um, had the opportunity to be in Big Brother Twitter. If I knew it was like this, I probably would have been involved a long time ago, but right. I was never big on Twitter. Same, uh, same. I used it mainly for like sports and stuff and, and keeping up with that. But like I, I said, have you on my podcast, Bruno, sometime. dude, anytime say the word, man. I mean, I, I say the word tonight. I had Julie Vu, Josh and Tina. Nice. And man. Yeah. So we're, we're the season nine. We're just collabing and, and getting it together. It's called keep it reality. I don't, I like, I don't want to push it. No, push it. I just, I, Fucking push yeah, it. I just, Talk I about it. To do it. You know what I mean? I got the equipment. Uh, I fucking have so much fun chopping it up and, and talking about this shit. Um, so, yeah, we had Julie as a guest. The main four is going to be me, Tina, Josh, and Spice. Nice. Because um, we did the draft. So we're accumulating points, and we each have teams, and we're going to, you know, check up in on that. And Yo, where do we find it? Let me put the link in the chat. Where, where do you find it? Uh, it's on Apple. It's on Spotify. Uh, what is it called? Podcast Keep It Real? Res. Uh, it's called Keep It Real Dash Itty. I T Y like keep it reality, keep it real. um, but it's, 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 it's mainly, it's a sub podcast. So it's just a podcast from the res is my, is my podcast. podcast. It's actually been, it's actually been popping like for podcast listens and, and stuff. Dude, absolutely I mean, push it, man. I'm fuck, I want to surprise when the play counts keep going up. I'm like, what the fuck? People yeah, man. Yeah. I want to so see I you fucking win, win dude. Is it like that? Keep it real. One word and then dash I T Y. No, it's, it's, it's uh, if you type in just a podcast from the res all the all the episodes are under there just a podcast from from the, the res res like that yeah there you go Boom. yeah check them out guys man you, fuck dude push it on here man i want to see you win dude I, just, fuck this is not competition yeah, it's, no, it's I'm love not about the, yeah i'm not about the clout thing i just nah, uh, don't I do, fucking it's worry. Like a perception of clout you know what nah, i mean man we're bo- we're boys I'm man just having fun with my friends that's all dude you know absolutely that's why i look at it too man we're just chatting shooting the shit you know what i mean and and buddy i, I want to see you make it man i want to see you win i want to see yeah. the dude I've, of course put it in there you know what i mean absolutely man uh, got it on spotify yeah man fuck i want to see you dude. spotify on, apple anchor um plug it where else that anchor uploads yeah it's been a trip i fucking i got my own theme music oh my, oh, my, That's own, sick. my own art i'm That's getting sick. into the nft game the picture of keep it real itty uh it's like a board ape my brother made it's got i a saw that shirt on it I it's see. got a just kid from the res hat which is in my merch <laughs> he's gonna mint it he's totally into crypto i don't know what it means but he's gonna give me the nft sick man. for whatever value it is so i'm in the crypto world now fine that's dope man that's dope that's yeah, dope. so that's just my logo. He's gonna take it away, and he's got like he's changed the depth and the the coloring on it, and he's made it more high quality because uh, he's an amazing artist. But that's uh, sick, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're it's... good at po- yeah, you. You'd make a you do a really good uh, you do a really good podcast, man. You're really good at talking and stuff. You got you know what I mean. You were on radio for a while, was, right? Yeah, I essentially had a podcast for seven years. Dude, I you... was a, a radio host of an indigenous talk show. 
for seven years well, basically. Yeah, I just shot shot the shit. So yep. there's nothing there's no place I feel more comfortable than a mic and audio waves in front of my face. So that's me now. Like when I when I was on the show, I never did this before. Now I just they fucking throw the camera. I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but they're just like keep your DRs. They're like this we don't see this doesn't come around too often. Like, <laughs> nice. It's good. Cuz I'd be like apologizing. I'd be like, "Oh, sorry. I fucked that up." And then you know how you got to repeat yourself? Right. And like they're just like Yeah, they wouldn't name names, but they're like, "Yeah, Keith, this is we enjoy bringing you in here." Good. But it was cool. That's that's a good sign. Yeah. That's a good sign. Because that's the thing. A lot of people, and here's the thing, they don't know until you get there. Like, they don't know who's going to be good in the DRs or not. Like, you have no idea, you know, until they get yeah. in the show. And then it's like, well, fuck, these people are either, they either have it or they don't. So I, before this, I never did like this, this, you know, talking stuff with the mic. And a, I never did this stuff. I was a construction worker for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I mean? So I, yeah. I did this. And I can see that in season three. I was like, okay, like, we're, like, we're not going to get the Bruno that I know right. now. Because I really only remembered you from season five because that's when I started watching Big Brother Canada again. I didn't right. see season three, Bruno. Right. So seeing season three, Bruno was way different. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing too, right? It's because season, dude. It was yeah. It was it was very different for me too. It's like fuck, uh, crazy, dude. I got offered I got offered a radio job after season after season five, a local radio station, like a like a good one, like a fucking one of the main ones. They said, mm-hmm. yo. Why don't you come in and be a radio host for us? But it was that it was that between it was like a I don't remember if it was the traffic out like five p.m. or in the afternoon. I don't remember, but it was shitty times for me because I had my kids, and like, I had the kids, I had to pick them up and stuff or whatever with the school, and so it just didn't work out. So I was like, I can't, I can't do it. Or or was it six o'clock? I don't remember. Anyway, whatever whatever it was, it was shitty time for me and the, and the kids, so I had to turn it down. But they offered me a radio gig. I was gonna be a radio host, fuck, and I said no. And I ended up doing this. Isn't that crazy? I could have been a fucking radio host. Dude, I've gotten so many. Everyone, when I came out of the house, everyone had a plan for me, man. I was just like, holy. It's good. Like everyone, everyone had my career mapped out for me. I'm just like, I'm going to bet on myself. You know what I mean? I'm Hell just yeah. like, I'm going to take Hell this yeah. time. And uh, yeah, fuck, thankfully, everything worked out. Quit my job. And, Dude, I yeah. didn't even fucking have, I didn't have Instagram. I didn't have Twitter. I didn't have anything. I literally had no social media. I just had, my, I'm just a construction worker minding my own business, man. You know, no idea about social media. None. And it was all made for. I didn't even know what my social media handles were. I had to come out and be like, what's my password? What's my handles? I didn't even know what the fuck my shit was. <laughs> you know what That's mean? hilarious, dude. Yeah, That's man. That's so funny. Like nothing. So, Keith, when you go back, are you winning? Yeah, dude. Are you kidding? They give me another shot in there. Yeah. It's on site. Um, you better believe. I'm a, I, you know, I get in shit for wanting to quit, but, like, you've been in the house, and, like, I truly felt tight with, like, Jed, Beth, and Ty. Like, I, I knew it was going to come down to it, and me and Ty had already been plotting and planning to go against Jed and Beth. Um, and Jed, Ty kind of gave me the idea that I was even going to go up on the block, but I was I was gutted. It was like my own family betraying me because know, you get to be so worst. close, and I was like, yeah. how could this happen? And like, even in my pitch, I'm like, Jed, can't you see, like, once I'm gone, it's you? Like, and think who's taking you final two in this house. Zero right. people. I was like, the only person you have a chance at with getting taken to final two is me. I was like, right. the only one who's never going to put you up is me. And it like it, it was true at the time, but the damage was done because he put my ass up on the block. Yeah, no, that, that's what hurts the most. Give me one sec. Yo, thank you for that follow button. Uh, yo, thank you so much, fam. Uh, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, yeah, we're just talking, we're just, Keith, we're just shooting the shit, man. And this is my yeah, boy, man. I got to go, though. All right, buddy. You be safe. Um, let me know next uh, Goose Goose Duck Sash or whatever. Uh, are I'll we? To make it happen. I don't know. I'm okay. going away for the weekend. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'll be back Monday. Okay, I'll kill you on Monday. <laughs> Sounds good, bro. dude. We gotta get some COD or Halo or uh, dude. We'll play. Dude, we gotta play. I'm ready. I do. I'm a little somewhat addicted to Goose Goose Duck. I kind of. I like to, that. Okay. I just I, I have an addictive personality. That's why I've never done hard drugs before. I'd probably be like <laughs> skinny and broke. Right. Um, Dude, I'll uh, I'll definitely kill you anytime. Anytime you want, you say the word, and we'll we'll slice and dice you. <laughs> all right, all right. Peace out, chat. All right, take it easy, brother man. Always good to chat with you. Take it easy, man.